Game of Thrones, a little-known fantasy series by George R. R. Martin, which has graced our bookshelves and our television screens. Game of Thrones, the first novel in the Song of Ice and Fire series, came out in 1996 and developed a dedicated and loyal fan base. But with the premiere of the television adaptation in 2011, Game of Thrones mania set in. So whether you're looking for your Game of Thrones fix after every episode of the TV show is finished, or you need something to distract you until the next book in the series finally comes out, I have a few recommendations here for you on Book Break. I myself have read and adored George R. R. Martin's Song of Ice and Fire series and each of the recommendations in this list is based on a specific aspect of the series that may be the thing you love the most. So hopefully there will be a recommendation especially for each of you. Now my first recommendation might seem a little bit out there and that is The Confessions of Young Nero by Margaret George. If you know me then you know I'm an ancient history buff and whenever I'm reading or watching Game of Thrones one of the things that's stands out to me, despite its medieval-esque setting, is how much the characters remind me of the emperors and empresses of Rome. In particular, I find it hard to believe that Cersei Lannister isn't even a little bit inspired by Agrippina the Younger or the Emperor Nero's mother. So if you can't get enough of the Lannisters, then you have to try Margaret George's fictionalised biography of the Emperor Nero. His ruthless ascent to the power seat of Rome, his eccentricities and slightly odd relationships with those around him. But I realise that that's a little less magical than some of you are looking for and if there's one fantasy author that I'd recommend to all fans of George R.R. R. Martin it's Robin Hobb. To recommend to you today I've picked her Rainwild Chronicles beginning with The Dragon Keeper because I know if you're like me then one of your favourite things about Game of Thrones is Daenerys Targaryen and her dragons. Well if you find yourself skipping forward to get a little bit more dragon action in the Game of Thrones books or TV show then why not try a whole series all about those mythical beasts. In this series we follow a new generation of a creature that seems almost extinct but are born undernourished and sickly. These young dragons are then taken by their keepers to find a new home. But if you want a little bit of the magical, as well as the empirical, then why not try Leanne Hearns, the Emperor of Eight Islands, the first in a duology set in feudal Japan. An ambitious warlord leaves his nephew for dead and seizes his lands, a mysterious woman seeks five fathers for her children, and a powerful priest meddles in the succession of the throne. If you're all about warriors and epic battles, then this one's for you. But if you truly want the best, of court intrigue and warring over thrones, then you should really be going for the originals and that would be a bit of Shakespeare. This might seem a little bit out there, but wait for it. Macbeth follows Macbeth, who after hearing the prophecy of three witches believes that he is destined to rule the kingdom. Egged on by his power-hungry wife, Lady Macbeth, there are unfortunately a few others in the way of his succession. Or there's The Tempest, which follows Prospero, the rightful Duke of Milan, who is ostracised by his brother, who instead wished to take the throne from him. Prospero, however, is determined to have his daughter Miranda take her rightful place, and uses magic to have his brother's ship crash onto the island they are stranded on. And I know Game of Thrones aren't often considered the most romantic of books, but they do contain the odd love story, as does The Tempest, between Miranda and the Prince of Naples, Ferdinand. And whilst we're looking at classic tales that may have had a hand in inspiring some of George R. R. Martin's Song of Ice and Fire series, don't forget to check out the original sword and sorcery tale of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. This is John Steinbeck's rendition of that classic story following King Arthur, his knights, Lady Guinevere and of course the wizard Merlin. To create his own novel, John Steinbeck studied firsthand the earliest surviving Mallory manuscript which provides some of the details behind this Welsh legend. But if these recommendations aren't enough for you, don't forget that although it's taken a little while to get the next instalment of the Song of Ice and Fire series, George R. R. Martin has been writing other books and there are quite a few for you to check out, from science fiction to fantasy, and I'll link a few of those along with our other recommendations in the description box. But do let me know if you have any other recommendations for fans of Game of Thrones and what do you think of my picks. But until next time, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you all again soon.